soft one's in the cage, and now you're getting pitched at, and in the far one, on the other side, you have those cages for that. I don't want anybody standing around. We've got plenty of stations to be working on, so rotate. Abandoning that the rotation, what we're going to do, you're going to go one after another, and then bounce in the back. After that, we get through you guys on hit in there. Outfielders are going to come back, the infielders will hit. After the outfielders, the outfielders will come back here. You're going to work on your crow hops. And then pitches, you're going to be thrown from flat ground over there. So anybody who primary at third base, you're over there, short stops, second. Shortstop special. You have to be able to come in and judge that hop. If I'm scouting you and I see and I hit that bounding ball, you got to come through it. That's going to decide whether I want you or you can't cut it there. You got to be able to make that play. You got to be able to come through that ball. Can't have your head off to the side. I don't care if you make a mistake. I don't care if you come through and give every effort on that side. If you miss the ball, who cares? But at least you're in the right position to do it. All right? Let's keep working on fundamentals. Everybody who picks up a bat has got to know how to handle it and get a bunt down when you need to. It's a big part of the game. Lead off hitters talk about faking a bunt, slashing, or coming back and drawing a man offside. Make your infielders move the minute you square around the bunt. Learn to bunt, the basics of bunting. It's very important no matter who you are. We won a game at the college level with Jake Vera because he came down to the third base and we we beat a guy in the college coach game, um, and I was struggling with should I make him bunt. And you look at Jake, big Jake, right? He says, Coach, I could get bunt down here. I said, Jake, let's do it. We caught him totally off guard, we won the game. Right? 
changing our feet that way. Yeah. Again, guys, everybody knows you're bumping, right? So instead of staying back in the box, especially also if there's a curveball, you want to get that curveball really before it breaks, right? If they start bunts, you move up in the plate, get that bat out, and you, the ball, you're going to get it before it starts dipping on you, and you get it from the plate. So when you bump it, your bat's going to be in front there, right? Shows don't move until this So some great job on the infield work, um, pitches, I just wanted to get you a little bit of time on the mound, one day to take a look at it. Uh, individual times are going to be open up for people that want it. You have uh, about six, seven people that can do individual stuff with you on uh, at RC or Baseball Plus, we can figure that out. Other than that, I thought you guys did a great job today. First baseman, third baseman did a nice job. Working on charging, middle guys did a great job on your uh, on double plays, your pivots. Uh, excellent work today. Let's go, Brian. Brian, I told you. Destination on three, destination on three, one, two, three.